A New Hampshire high school track and field coach has been fired after refusing to enforce a, a mask mandate for, for athletes that he called senseless, irrational, cowardice BS. Well, he didn't use the word, he didn't use BS. Pembroke Academy track and field coach Bradley Keyes said the school informed him that athletes would be required to wear masks during all races and the majority of field events during the upcoming spring season. And um, that was the policy that was set by the New Hampshire Interscholastic Athletic Association. And uh, he, he asked the school that he worked for whether it was a guidance or a mandate. He was told that, the, uh, that uh, Pembroke and the schools it competes against had agreed to adopt the mask policy. Mask policy. So he, uh, he said he wouldn't do it, and uh, he, was, he was fired. And joining us on the line now is a former coach of uh, Pembroke Academy uh, track and field, uh, Bradley Keys. Thanks for being with us, uh, Bradley Keys. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Howie. I appreciate it. I, I, you know, we need more people standing up. We have a, a candidate down in uh, Attleboro for mayor, uh, Massachusetts, uh, who's, who says he's had it with masks, too. But more people aren't willing. It's amazing how few people are willing to say what so many of us think. And uh, I, I, I thank you for doing that. And uh, why, why did you make this decision to give up your job? Um, just what you said. Uh, nobody seems to be standing up, and rules and regulations seem to be getting more bizarre, less thought out, and in this case, damaging, I think, both possibly to the health of athletes, um, athletes with asthma. We have athletes with um, heart conditions and other things. They're already in extremely stressful events that take all your energy, all your oxygen, and now we're asking to add more stress on top of it. But that's only a small part because I still think that the risk is low in that, just like the risk is very low for catching coronavirus out on the track in the wind and the sun. What I wasn't going to do is stand up in front of my team and tell them any of this makes sense, that it's for your own good, that there's a reason for it, because it's not. It would be lying to them. And I'm, I'm tired of people lying and uh, making things up just to kind of cover their own butts. Just to be devil's advocate here, I mean, couldn't you have gone to him sure. and said, I know this is BS and you know it's BS, but we have to do this. How about that? We don't have to do it. That's the point. We, the, the athletes don't have to be running with masks in the race. And I had asked for confirmation. There, there wasn't going to be any change. It was just going to be, this is the way it is. Um so I made a stand. And to, to take it one step further, uh, there I've had several coaches contact me or talk to me and with their winks and nods say the way they're going to handle this is they're going to tell their kids, oh, if the mask falls off, or it falls down your chin while you're running too bad, uh, nothing you can do about it. So, so now we're putting in place rules that are supposed to be followed, but we're going to wink and nod and tell the kids, ah, don't worry about those. Um, I mean, you're essentially telling the kids to cheat and it's going to go, it goes against everything high school sports are supposed to be about. Um, and it's just, it's wrong. It's like, I mean, pro, I it's like prohibition it's and I won't do it with the kids. That's what I've been saying. It's yeah. like prohibition. You know, n no one was going to stop drinking. So they just set up speakeasy. So now you have, you know, during the height of it, you had speakeasy barbershops, speakeasy restaurants, uh, you know, every, everything speakeasy gyms yeah. and, and, you know, I, it's just it's just unfortunate that nobody uh, that that you had to give up your job for this. I mean, have you t have you heard from any politicians, any like state legislators? I, I I know Chris Sununu would never call, but I mean, Chris Sununu knows this is BS. I think doesn't he? The governor? I, I don't know. We still have the mask mandate in the state. I know so that's what I mean. I'm not sure, I I did send it to the governor, <laughs> and I have not heard from politicians. I've heard from dozens of parents, students, other coaches, and random people who call and email me saying, thank you very much for saying this. And there are lots of people who feel the same way and are frustrated and for various reasons don't speak up because they think it doesn't matter or because it's going to be risky to them. We're talking and, to I mean, Bradley Keyes. He was fired as the uh, coach, uh, the track and field coach of uh, Pembroke Academy in New Hampshire. 
because he refused uh, to to enforce the mask mandate for his athletes. What what have the kids yeah. said to and, you? The, and to be to be clear, it's the mask mandate during races. Yeah. If if we need to wear masks in between um, exercises when we're stretching on the buses, fine. It doesn't affect training. It doesn't affect performance. Um, and it's not done in stressful situations. So, so that's just to be clear. It was a mask mandate during races for all distances, 400 meter, 800 meter, mile to mile. You're wearing a mask while you're running. God, it just, how about the, how about the events like pole vaulting and things like that? Well, they, they decided that shot put discus javelin pole vault and hurdles it was too dangerous to wear masks for. So you don't have to do <laughs> that, it there. That doesn't make any but, sense either, but, does it? But but Mass but Massachusetts <laughs> has decided that you do have to wear it when pole vaulting. So it, it, it's all over the place. None so, of it makes any so sense. So what happens what happens when Exeter plays Exeter faces Andover? You know, the two the two big prep schools in different in the two different states. What 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 rules apply then? I'm sure you don't know, but I'm, I'm just not, asking I'm not it. Sure if they operate under, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if they operate under NHIAA. And actually, the NHIAA recommends, and then it's up to the schools to adopt. So our school, along with the schools we compete against this year, decided that, yes, they like the recommendations and they would require them. And so what, what about Vermont? Because I went to Deerfield Academy, so we play Vermont Academy. So which rules apply it when a Massachusetts school goes up against a Vermont school? I, I don't know. And in, in, in this situation, I'm guessing they're not doing it. They've cut down on uh, interstate in, interstate uh, competition because of that. I know that um, there's a Patriot Pole Vault Club down in Massachusetts that uh, isn't even, it, it's a private club, and they're not allowed to have athletes from out of state come in to practice with them right now. Hmm. How, how long were you the coach at, uh, Pembro at Pembroke Academy? This would have been my fourth year. I started when my daughter was a freshman. She's actually a senior this year. So I'm not going to be coaching her for her senior season. Oh, that's a shame. Now, and that, that, I mean, I absolutely love it and I will miss it tremendously. But the big thing is I feel horrible for the kids who've put in three, four years of work. We've got several seniors who are looking to go to States, have chances of placing, um, and I'm not going to be there for them. And then, I mean, I feel really badly for the kids last year when they canceled the season who totally missed out on chances, once in a lifetime chances to compete. So uh, what, uh, other than your daughter, have you talked to the, to some of, uh, your, your athletes? What, what do they say about this? Oh yeah. No, I'm in, I'm in touch with a lot of the athletes. They, they understand, they support it. Um, they're going to keep working, doing what they can under the current conditions. My, my hope right now, this has gotten a little more coverage than I expected. And I'm happy about that. I'm hoping maybe a week, two weeks from now, somebody decides, all right, let's get rid of this mask mandate. We don't need it in the races. And the kids can actually have some decent meets where they're not encumbered by these masks. Are you, are you getting any, I, I see, you know, we picked up the story from uh, channel four in Boston. Are you getting any national uh, mm -hmm. attention here? Hasn't gone national yet. We've moved from New Hampshire down to Boston and we'll see if it goes further or not. Boy, it's a, it's just really a good story. What do you get along with this athletic director, Fred Vizina, or does he think you're a, a, a diva or, or is he sort of uh, supportive in a, uh, in a, in a, a, uh, uh sort of a small way or what I, I i've i've always gotten along with him he's helped me i mean i've only coached for a few years he's given me whatever resources i've needed within his budget and everything and i mean i i don't know what he feels towards me i put a lot of pressure on him there's no question about it i don't have anything personal against him um i i his viewpoint i'm sure is he's doing what he can to try to keep the sports from getting shut down again which I understand. I think the way it's being done and the, the, the way it's being regulated is beyond mm -hmm. absurd. And that's why I said what I said, but I don't have any, any personal animosity against him at all. Do you, do you think any of the, any of the athletes or any of the young people who, 
who participate in track and field are really concerned about contracting uh, the virus and and getting really sick when they're uh, when they're running a say a, a forty yard dash. Uh, not that I know of. Not that anybody said. But I mean, there there would be nothing stopping them, and I certainly wouldn't ever stop somebody from saying, "I want to wear a mask." Right. Fine. That that's certainly your choice. But it, it, putting it on everyone, and again, uh, if if anyone anyone who's run a four hundred meters or eight hundred meters knows what it feels like and you're at the limit of what your body can do and to throw a mask on top of that i just think is absurd yeah i take a i take a bike ride six miles every morning and i I just can't imagine how ridiculous i I mean it it would just add add an extra layer of a level of uh i don't know tension and just uncomfort discomfort i guess is the word discomfort that's what it would add yeah yeah and I'd be less yep. likely to go out every morning if I had to wear that damn mask. And yet I see people on this, yep. uh, this bike path every morning wearing a damn mask. I, yep. I don't understand and, it. And it's only 50 degrees right now. Wait till May and we get a warm day. Maybe states will be 80 degrees. And now you've got kids wearing masks running two miles on the track in the sun. It yep. just compounds. Yeah, I, got a, I got a text here, uh, 617. My son is playing soccer for the town of Norwood. Kids have to play with masks on outdoors. Mm-hmm. That's crazy too. Yeah. I mean, you're, you you know, you make a break uh, for a, uh, for a ball and it's in play. I mean, it's, it's like being in a dash. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. No, I, I agree. And I, I saw teams out practicing tennis today at one of the local high schools, tennis, two people on the tennis court, they're 30 to 60 feet apart and they're wearing masks <laughs> in practice. It just, I just have to shake my head. There's no, there's no common sense to it. There's no judgment. It's just, oh, we have to wear masks no matter what, even when there's literally zero risk. Yeah. I I live in a building down here in Florida where I am now, and they have a tennis court. And the the rule, the initial rule was, even if you were playing with your spouse who lived in the unit with you, you had to put on a mask Mm -hmm. when you play tennis. Yep. I mean, they, they eventually... You know, cooler heads prevailed in that case. You know, they just said, okay, forget it. Forget it. Looks, looks like it's not going to happen to you, for you, though. If people want to support you or, uh, you know, uh, sign a petition, do, is there anything they can do to help you out or, or help out uh, the, the uh, team? Uh, best thing to do is call or email the school administration, the school boards, uh, politicians, if you can, although I haven't heard anything through that, but yes, yeah, speak out, do, do what you can. Um, a couple of, some of the students, I believe on my team put together a petition asking for the mask mandate to be removed. Uh, I think just speak out somewhere, go, go talk to somebody, complain somewhere. And if enough people do it, I don't know if things are going to get reversed, but maybe it'll stop the, the next mandate from being pushed on the kids. Well, Bradley Keys, a former uh, track and field coach for uh, Pembroke Academy, I, I appreciate what you're doing, and I salute you for doing it. And um, I wish there were more people standing up to this uh, this this crazy uh, it, policy that uh, prevails, even in even in relatively sane states like New Hampshire. But thank you very much, Bradley Keys, for being with us. Eight four four five hundred forty two forty two. Uh, 781 says, I haven't been back to the gym. Will not take a spin class with a mask. I wouldn't be able to breathe. I got a Peloton and work out at home. Now, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to Pelotons. Everybody, my, one of my daughters has got one. The, the mailroom manager's got one. I mean, they're expensive, but who wants to put up with the BS? Seriously. All right. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always looking at a screen now more than ever. And whether you're an avid news watcher or in serious need of a distraction, unplugging yourself is easier said than done. One of my favorite ways to rest my eyes and still get the content I'm itching for by putting in my Raycon wireless earbuds and listening to something great. That's what I do in the morning when I'm out uh, on the on the bike path with no mask on, watching the people walking by with masks on. It's it's like great. you say, Howie. It's the perfect accessory to whatever you're doing that doesn't involve other people because I mean, you're not going to be able to hear them if they're next to you. They're so noise canceling. But I'm doing some yard work this weekend, and I'm looking forward to putting the Raycons back in. 
That's right. I'm uh, I'm not listening to the Steely Dan anymore because their their old school got 500 million from George Soros. I was listening to the Kinks today. Back to low budget, low budget and Superman. Great, great album. You can listen to all your old favorites and bring them back. And again, the sound is better than when you heard it the first time uh, 40 years ago, or maybe even more than 40 years ago. Raycons are built to perform anywhere in any time with water and sweat resistant construction and Bluetooth that pairs quickly and seamlessly. And they don't have any dangling wires coming out of them. No one will even know you're uh, wearing them. You just, uh, you'll just be in, uh, in, in nerv- nerv- musical nirvana or podcast nirvana enjoying yourself. And with enough battery life for six hours of playtime, you can unplug for a while. You can go out on a long ride. You can rake the lawn for a long time. You can cook up a storm, and you're not going to be bothering anybody. Raycons come in a range of stylish colorways with a comfortable in-air fit for a more discreet look. And the best part, Raycon makes great sound accessible to everyone with wireless earbuds starting at half the price, just half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon's offering 15% off all their products for my listeners, and here's all you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash Howie. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash Howie, buyraycon.com slash Howie. I'm Howie Carr. Holding the Hackerama accountable is a full-time job. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Everybody out at once. Howie Carr will be back after this short break. 